So one of the most frustrating things about Ten Hag's tenure has been his stubbornness and lack of versatility between systems. I've been saying for a while now that United should consider using a back five on occasions. Maybe not as the primary system, but it definitely should be an option against sides who are going to control possession for most of the game, and in particular against sides who use a front five in the middle third. And the reason for this is pretty simple, and simplicity is the key to an effective system, as it's easier for individual players to fulfil their defensive responsibilities when the defensive shape that they are defending in puts them in optimal positions in order to track runners, cut passing lanes, and close off spaces, but how does a 5 at the back system do this? Well just logically, if you use a back 4 against sides that are going to use a front 5, which the majority of teams in the Premier League now use in possession, you are naturally going to be facing a numerical overload in the deeper part of your system. And we've seen over the last year or so how this has caused United issues, with players particularly on the right side being able to create 2v1 situations against Dalot, and because he doesn't want to push up and vacate the space in behind for the wide attacker to make a run into, he's forced to drop off, which in turn leaves one of the opposition's front line three and a half space to receive the ball and drive forward. Now of course this issue isn't solely caused by not using a back five, but instead by United's defensive shape not being vertically compact enough in order to cut off the space between the lines, but it does however require the central midfielders ahead to be aware of players sitting behind them, and be able to track their underlapping runs into the space that is created when the ball goes out wide and the United fullback moves out to close down the winger. And the reason this isn't optimal is because throughout a game if your central midfield line is constantly having to be aware of players in behind them, out of their line of vision, there is going to be situations throughout the match where players lose concentration and lose the player behind them, or even just don't have the athleticism to be constantly tracking runners into the back line, especially players like Ericsson and Casemiro. But before I come on to the other reason as to why I like the back 5 system from a defensive point of view, let me tell you about the jersey of the day, which is this Real Madrid 1617 purple away shirt with Ronaldo on the back. Go over to Jersey FIFA and check out that jersey. They've also got Manchester United new season and retro jerseys as well. And if you use code Atlantis at checkout, you'll get a discount. A link will be in my Instagram bio, which I will leave linked in the description. So the reason I like a back five for this type of situation is that because you have an extra player in the back line, not only can you go man for man and stop the opposition having a numerical overload against your back line but when it comes to tracking runs between the defensive line because the wide centre backs are starting behind the opposition players in the half spaces rather than in front of them like the central midfielders in a four man midfield line would be it becomes a lot easier for them to see where and when the run in behind is going to be made and due to them not having to check their shoulder and having a constant vision of the player in front of them they are able to react quicker as the runs are made and don't have to take their eyes off of the player as the midfield line in front would have to do. But of course by dropping a player from the midfield line into the defensive line you are of course going to concede space elsewhere. However, if you use a narrow 5 in front of the back line, you're able to keep the centre of the pitch congested and cut off passing lanes into players between the lines. And so the space that you would be vacating is wide of the midfield, which is an area which is a lot less dangerous to afford the opposition space in, compared with between the lines in the centre or between the defenders in the back line, which in my eyes is a positive opportunity cost. Now you may say that this could lead to the side becoming vulnerable when the opposition players from the front five drop into these areas wide of the narrow midfield and forward line. However, this is where we see the flexibility of the back five. As if one of the opposition players in the half space drops wide and deep into this area, the wide centre back in the defensive line can simply follow him higher up the pitch in order to stop him being able to receive the ball and turn in space, but crucially doing so without vacating a large amount of space in the back line as would happen in a back four. In this situation, the wide centre back follows the movement being drawn high up the pitch, but due to the extra player in the back five, now you have a temporary back four, and so you can afford to push a man out of the defensive line without a large amount of space being vacated between your defenders for the opposition to then make runs into. But another benefit with the back five is in the defensive third, you now have three centre backs in the box, which not only just gives you more coverage in that area with an extra player inside of the box, but if you are using three centre backs who are fairly decent in the air, this should allow you to defend crossing situations a lot more effectively. 
And so those are the reasons why from a defensive point of view, I really like using a back five. And while some may say that using an extra defender on the pitch will limit your ability in possession compared with a back four, in a future video, I am going to explain why I don't think this is the case. And it all depends on how you set up the system. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. You can also check out my Patreon where you can get access to a Telegram group chat, articles and unreleased videos. I'll leave that linked in the description and the comment section below.